controlled the entire world <laughs> with the fight. Yeah, it, so was this was this all an act? What yeah. part of it was real? Tell us about it. Uh, just, I don't know what made me come up with the idea. Honestly, I just uh, one day just decided just to go all in and just commit to a plan that I had, and I was not going to budge for nobody. It didn't matter if I went on his podcast, anybody's podcast. I was acting like sporadic, like just like crazy. What what got you to say I'm going to take a complete different approach with marketing this fight? Well, it was just basically it kept on unraveling itself. Uh, if I'm being quite honest, it was more of a. It wasn't so much like my ideas, like more of just wisdom coming from God, and then I just made adjustments as I went. Like um, I would have these strong, uh, I guess feelings or just urges like from like like nicks from the holy spirit to do this do that do this do that and then like god always cleaned up everything that i was doing because i felt like on the one side it was like i had the enemy pushing me to do certain things and then i had you know god and then it was just like no matter what happened god always made it right so i would have to give all the credit to god and the wisdom of uh, of god and and the Holy Spirit, for sure. So Bohemian Grove, what, what, you said you have a video that you, you saw the kids. Did you actually have videos of kids? Things that I you actually saw? do. I do have videos. You yeah. have videos? Yes, we have videos. Who has seen them? Who have you shown them to? Uh, the guy, Jacob. He has them. We're going to go to Congress with it. Mm. Has anybody else here seen them? Have you guys seen the videos? No, they have not seen them. You guys have never seen the videos. Mm -mm. Okay, so you've not shown it to anybody else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um why why haven't you shown it yet if you have those videos? I'm just not going to put that on the internet and then there's also other people that have videos and um, you know they're victims but I'm not going to put that on the internet that's disgusting how high are, are some of these people is it because these guys are high, high or up powerful people that you don't want to expose them well I mean the everything's in people's faces you don't got to look too far you know what I mean there's so many uh, there's so many stars I mean this is not even a conspiracy at this point you know at the end of the day all these things can be traced and um documented and um, for me to like show proof it's just kind of funny because uh it's right in front of everybody's face they paint it in the illusion that it's a, co a conspiracy but it's not a conspiracy if there's proof so at first i'm like okay so he made all this stuff up that's what it sounded like he was saying he was trolling the whole thing was a troll all mm -hmm. the all the bohemian Grove stuff was a troll then when they asked him they're like he's like no no i got tapes so i don't know anything about this kid but what is he doing is is he telling the truth still was he always telling the truth about this was he was it just hype for the fight what is going on here because we know the bohemian grow thing is real like yeah, I, yeah. i've seen that mm -hmm. so because i think my first reaction was was ciara posted like they got to him you mm -hmm. know what i mean that kind of thing that's conspiracy <laughs> theorists feel that so i'm like what, what do you think do you think he's telling the truth do you think this is all hype what, where you are with, with ryan garcia so Ryan Garcia, I, I've been following him for a while. I never heard about him having any kind of mental health issues or challenges before this whole fight took place. That's why all that erratic behavior and weird behavior he was doing, it was crazy to me because I'd never seen him act like that. You know, he's always somebody who really didn't know how to talk trash real good. Like he was about to fight Tank Davis. He really couldn't talk trash. Like he was out of his element. He was just a boxer. Um, so to a certain degree, I could see where that was antics or whatnot, but I believe it was a lot of truth mixed in with the antics. So now when he comes back and says, okay, it was all just a game and this and that, it's certain stuff that he can say, okay, that's just part of a game. But then when they asked him about the Bohemian Grove thing, he said, yeah. Even to say that at this point, like you said, everybody know that's true. That's low-hanging fruit. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's something that's a shocker to anybody. So I, I still feel like they got to him. I feel like they're like, they're like you're talking too much, you're revealing too much, you be quiet. We'll leave you alone. You know what I'm saying? You keep talking. Powers that be, we're going to tap in. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I feel like. Because um, the stuff he's saying, the Bohemian Grove, we can look that up right now and see all kind of videos on YouTube about it and mm -hmm. stuff right now. But some of the stuff that he was talking about and saying how passionate he was, I feel like they got to him. Well, he's, <clears throat> he was saying that he had, he had a, he said he got the tapes. But what's interesting, that's not what he said at first. He said it happened to him. Yeah. He said they forced him to do this and that. Now he's saying, like, no, I've seen some stuff. Yeah, who going to record themselves doing that? <laughs> Are you familiar with Bohemian Grove? Do you know no. what we're talking about? So, this is a long story. Okay, so where is this at? It's San Francisco out there in the woods. In the woods. No, I thought it was in, I thought it was in um, England. No, it was no, in London. No, 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 here. It's in San Francisco, oh, okay, California. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So there's this, like, this. But what's in London then? That's where, the, uh, that's where the that's where old boy live at the uh, what's the family the rock the, 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 um, the Rothschilds the Rockefellers the Rothschilds you mean no nah. it's something in London that deals with satanic that's, that's stuff. not this that's here is it 
This is here. It's a house oh, okay. in London. You talking about that's like the the Rockefeller estate or something like it that. It was some, I, I remember it was something. But go ahead. So Bohemian Grove is this this thing out in the woods where it's like a it's like a almost like a camp for old white rich men, powerful rich men. Okay. And there's this huge owl statue in the middle of it. And there's videos now where people have kind of broken into it and kind of like filmed it, and so you can see it's real. Um, but it was a conspiracy for a long time that powerful people gather together to decide how the world goes, like the Illuminati mm-hmm. type thing, mm-hmm. right? And no, but people have broken in. Alex Jones did it, who's nuts. But anyway, <laughs> he actually got footage of it, and then a bunch of other people have gone there. So there's really this owl that they worship, they praise, they do this ritualistic. Drake, Drake like the OVO owl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks just like that, yeah. Okay. And it, like they do this ritualistic thing where they wear robes and chants, Not and robes. there's people there's people sitting in like the, the gallery, <laughs> you know like, oh, what I mean? Robes, <laughs> yeah, robes. Serious, and like face coverings, like, you know, the whole yeah, like yeah. Um, eyes wide shut type thing. And then there's like this altar that's like baby sized, and they believe like they like sacrifice children there. Wow. Okay. So, there's footage of this. It's not making this up. Like it's not yeah. just conspiracy. It's footage. Now, how serious they are about it and all that kind of stuff, I don't know their heart. But there are. It's it's like big name people. It's like presidents, like George Bush, Congress, Bill Clinton, Clinton and, which is interesting. He said, "I'm gonna take it to Congress." To, yeah, they like okay. You gonna yeah, take the it. video to the people who supposedly <laughs> doing it? Yeah, mm. come on. So so <laughs> so the 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 idea is he claimed when he was doing promo for the fight that they made him witness this like doing things to kids and stuff. Okay. But now he's saying he just ha- has footage of it. Him and this guy, Jaco, I think his name is. So Is he talking about Jaco Jaco? Who's Jaco Jaco? George George Jaco? Who's George Jaco? My man that was that, No, that's Janko. Janko. Okay. No, no. I think there's oh, a man. there's I think there's a YouTuber named Jaco who broke in and and saw stuff. Anyway, so um all of that is the background for what he's saying now. Based on him kind of waffling back and forth on what is true and what's not true, trolling, not trolling, do you believe he has actual footage of powerful people doing weird stuff with children? Ooh. Um, mm, I think that the footage is tricky, right? Um, I don't know what be on people's phone, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a belief or a non-belief in this. I yeah. think that I think that I think that um, you know it is real that people say things to to hype up you know uh, a, a mm-hmm. situation they're promoting. Um, I don't know. So okay, so Lee, yeah, you've seen some stuff in this industry. You've been you've been around industry people. Mm-hmm. I think we asked you this last time. Mm-hmm. Is there any weird ritualistic? Pedophilic, uh, freak party like stuff going on behind the scenes. Um, I've never been to any pedophilic parties. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, Pedophilia parties. Yeah, like I've never, <laughs> I've never with my own. You never seen any. I've never seen any of it. No. Um, I think that where there's smoke, there's fire. A lot of people talk about a lot of stuff, you mm-hmm. know, and so. Um, but I can I can either confirm nor deny the pedophilia stuff. Okay. What about just the weird, freaky rituals, sacrificing goats? These are all conspiracies that yeah. m- mainstream industry, Hollywood, and music mm-hmm. are Satanists, and they use that to gain and keep their power. Mm-hmm. Do you believe that? Um. Yeah. I. I. I what I believe is that um, Satanism is real Mm -hmm. right and demons are real right and there are people who submit to the word of god and people who don't Mm -hmm. right um and i think that yeah like everything is real you know and i think that either you are you are under the will and the protection and the in the blood of jesus or you're not Mm -hmm. so 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 somebody sitting at home that's not touching the industry they're seeing all these conspiracies do they have a reason to be worried about these things being real? I don't, first of all, I don't think we should be worried about anything mm-hmm. if you are under the blood of Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. right? Um, and I think that, I also, I don't think that um, everybody is as intentional, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. As like, 
um, a lot of people might think they are. Like, I don't think that everybody, you know, and this is me just as kind of just like as an, as an individual. Like, I don't think that everybody in there's no way everybody in Hollywood is like intentionally, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A Satanist. Um, and so, so n no, I don't want to your question. I don't think anybody should be worried about anything if you have Jesus in your life. Yeah. And that's kind of where I've fallen. It's like, I, do I believe some of this is going on? People doing super, super, super demonic, weird stuff? Yes. I think mo a lot of the other people that you suspect are just going along to get along. They may not see anything either, but they know they need to impress, you know, some big executive. They need yeah. to, you know, fall in line mm -hmm. with this person. And um, when you when you know these people or you're connected or you depend on them, you start hearing less and less from them because it impacts their career, right? So that's why it feels like a secret because the more, the closer you get to where you need those people, the less and less you're going to hear about them because those people are never going to say anything because they need those people. So yep. it's, 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 that's why I think it feels so dark and secretive. But I think most of the people you love and admire, they don't, they aren't intentionally being satanic. They're just, they're just no longer willing to talk out about those things anymore because if they have seen it or they get hints of it, they need those people to survive. They, they have so much power mm -hmm. that speaking out against them could ruin your career. So are we mm -hmm. basically saying the gatekeepers are satanic? I don't know. But who are you talking about? No, I'm just saying, talking, when we say gatekeeper, I keep hearing that gatekeepers word. Gatekeepers meaning like the big, the big people that, based off what you just said, allowing people to get past certain parts in their career, like, you know... Like the one guy Kanye was talking about, the Lucian Grange guy mm -hmm. who runs Universal, which mm -hmm. is like the biggest, I think the biggest they break yeah. everywhere. Like, are those people like, are they Satanists? Or, like y'all say, I believe they just probably don't worship Jesus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and if you don't, if you worship don't Jesus, then you're a Satanist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, pretty much. If <laughs> no, you don't but, worship Jesus, but it's I, like you're but willing I, to do whatever you have to do to achieve a certain status in life. Well, yeah. I think, I think okay, so there, there's probably people out there that, they, like you said, don't believe in God. But then there's some people out there yeah. that are tapped into occult practices. Yeah, but yeah. but here's, here's, my, here's my only caution against people who, who spend a lot of time worried about this. The people who are obviously blood of goats, worshiping an owl, that kind of stuff, to me, that's not as dangerous to your personal well-being as the people who are just going along to get along. Because those people have more power over your kids and your mm. way of life then I believe the 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 woo spooky people do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they they are close enough to being normal that it can actually sway what you believe about things. But if these people who are quote unquote the gatekeepers are making laws, they're making cultural cultural things that's making it hard for Christians or making right. it like making it look bad to be a Christian then that could be a problem too. It could be, but what you gonna do about that? But what you can do is stop listening to certain people that are on the radio, push back against certain yeah. influences. Yeah. Because people are hired to push influence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know who these upper, upper, upper people who will go to a Bohemian Grove are. I can't do nothing about them. But what we can do is fight back against misunderstandings like we're doing when we talk about NLE Chapa or, or whatever. We're, we're fighting against the mentality that they're trying to yeah. inject into the culture. Mm -hmm. But constantly, to me, constantly worried about, oh, this person worship Satan, this person does oh, yeah. this and that. It's distracting. Yeah, that, that, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's like that's, you can't do it. You just pray about that mm -hmm. and then do the work mm -hmm. of combating the cultural influence those people have over the kids around yeah. you yeah. yeah that's what i spend my time focused on that's why we come in here and we break down what somebody said that's like it's almost right but not quite right and then we try to fix it because yeah. a kid may hear you know charlemagne or enoli chopper or kanye and get confused about what god says and yeah. it's like yeah. nope that's not right this is right you yeah. know what I'm saying? i would spend more of my time worried about that than some somebody in a robe somewhere doing something yeah right. I, th I think some of that stuff is true, some of it isn't, but like you're saying, essentially it's just God against the devil. It's the yeah. same mm -hmm. story that's been happening since the beginning of time. It's like, if you're not worshiping Christ, you're against him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Pretty much. And, and it may not be a thing where you're just blatantly saying, seem seen Tyler being with the devil and stuff <laughs> in the room or whatever. <laughs> it could just be like, the things I feel like God wants yeah. me to do, I feel like a it's, a, it's okay to be a slut and yeah. worship God. That's satanic or too. God yeah. is cool or doing those things is going to slow my career down. Because yeah. NLE Chopper been talking about God for a while. Yeah. But he hasn't been, you know what I'm saying? He's still like, right now, yeah. you got this revelation, but if God is so real, stop the tour. But I'm going to choose the money 
over. Yeah. <laughs> so you feel me? So it's not necessarily like I worship Satan, whom Rob, but it's like I'm gonna shoot his money over with God. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what you see. What is an idol in essence? Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're worshiping right. an idol. Yeah. And by the way, that's in every industry. Yep. Right? Like people yep. who work in literally every industry on the planet like fall in this con- in this conversation as well. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I feel like um I feel like our kind of charge really is just just to keep talking about who God is, mm. right? And the fact that and cuz that's the thing there's so much misunderstanding about like who God is. Mm-hmm. And like God is the God of abundance. God is the creator, right? Mm-hmm. Like Satan don't make nothing. Mm-hmm. Satan doesn't create anything. He just mm-hmm. like flips perverts, things that, exactly yeah. he perverts. So I think that just as Christians, you know, in an entertainment space and in any industry really is like we just are supposed to show up every day and talk about who God is yeah. and who God has called us to be Bro. and who God empowers us to be. Again, like God God is God is empowering us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We real. can do everything through Christ who strengthens us. And I think that um so many people end up looking for all these other sources of power because yeah. they just don't that's not clicking for them. Yeah. You know? And so And I and I say this real quick and I think that's the thing that like you said earlier about like breaking down strongholds over people's lives and and really letting them know like you shouldn't be focused on YouTube on yo they got these people doing this and you know what I mean like you were saying it should be the focus should be on like how can I get my walk with God get right get your witness right how yeah. can I get, get how your can, witness right, right. Yeah, exactly. how can I be more like Christ how can I you know what I'm saying? If I'm if I'm just if somebody out here that may just discover our channel, if I'm trying to figure this out, how do I figure this out? Like, what is God like? What is you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm hearing so many different sources about God. Right now, I need to know for myself what what God wants me to do with my life. You know, mm-hmm. 